Yes, in the world. Uh, first and foremost, I want to say all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Hashem, Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone of Wilwa. And uh, blessings and uh, salutations to the hopeful elect out there teaching this word uh, also in truth and sincerity, you know, feeding the flock. And um, pretty much, man, um, the first thing that comes to mind, um, what's that scripture, bro? The, um, the harvest being plenteous. Let me, let me get that. Uh, probably Matthew, isn't it? <clears throat> let me say. Harvest plenty. Yeah, man, because basically, man, you know, we're, you know, we're living in, you know, the last days of the last days. And pretty much, you got it to where all these prophecies are popping off, man. Left, right, and center. All right. And basically, there's plenty of work to be done. You know? Like the scriptures speak about considering thou that the ant thou sluggard, man. You know? So there's plenty of work to be done. And I've got this uh, scripture real quick. Right? This is Matthew chapter 9, verse 37. Then saith he unto his disciples, talking about Yahweh Shai, the harvest truly is plenteous. But the laborers are few, right? Pray ye therefore that the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. So this ain't a thing where you just come in this truth and you just sit there and you got your bunny slippers on and you're just kicking it, man. Or you're just meeting up with brothers. Like the scriptures speak about in these last days being of all holy conversation, all right? Also going into your conduct, okay? Because the thing is, if you're not in holy conversation, then what the fuck are you doing? You know, you're getting into the ways of the world. All right, and the scriptures speak about that friendship of the world being enmity with the Most High. We ain't even supposed to be doing that right now. Well, you know, there should be a sense of fervency, you know, a sense of urgency. Mm. Okay, and what did the Lord say? Look, we, look, man, love the Lord with all thy uh, might, all thy, you know, the first two greatest commandments, and the second is like unto it, right? That you should uh, uh, love thy neighbor as thyself. All right, which is going into that charity. Okay, so what you got to understand is, hey, don't, what is who is it that said, though I have not charity, I'm nothing? You know? I believe, it was Paul. I believe so. Yeah. Though I have not charity. Yeah, it's Paul. Okay? This is 1 Corinthians 13 and <clears throat> 1. Though I speak with tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become as sounding brass or a, tink or a tinkling cymbal. Right? It says, and though I have the gift of prophecy, right? So a guy, a guy can come out here, act like he's shooting fire from his eyes, right. cursing at the so-called white man, you know, doing backflips over the camp sign, you know, you know, got ten readers by his side, you know. But at the same time, he says, though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all the mysteries, he's got all the wisdoms, all the mysteries, right? He's doing all of that, right? In the in the in the eyes of men, and all the knowledges, right? And all knowledge. And though I have all faith, right, so that I could remove mountains, right? Because the Lord said, if you have uh, faith as a grain of a mustard yeah, seed, yeah. we were speaking about that earlier, right, kind of, you know, that's yeah. the spirit, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and it just finishing it off, it says, and have not charity, I am nothing. So this is what, you know, basically reasoning on charity and these sorts of things and being brotherly, man, kind of. You know, these things are very, very important, man. You know? And that's why charity is a very important thing. Because Paul said, basically, though I have all these things, all the faith, all the knowledge, all the wisdom, and I have not charity, I am nothing. So that's one thing to really remember, you know, in this truth. No, you got it, huh? Can, uh, can you look for daily bread? Can. Sure. Uh, this is um, First Peter's chapter 4. <clears throat> and I start from 7. But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. And we were just reading this earlier. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Hey, the end of all things is at hand, man. Okay, okay. the end of this man's kingdom. So where the prophecies are popping off, you got, you got you know, you got uproars of the people all around. You got the gilets jaunes. You got the Brexit happening. You got yeah. things happening in America. It's just a matter of time before hey, this chip is made mandatory, man, and it's pushed heavy out in the world. It's already out there, okay. And it says. And above all things, have fervent charity. And it says fervent. So you got to be fervent in it. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's like a, that heat has got to be on it. Yeah. You know? On. And it says amongst yourselves. Like a burning sensation. Yeah. 
you know because i believe further it goes back to the word fever yeah 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 you know and when you have a fever what your body actually ramps up and it burns ba basically tries to get rid of the uh, uh impurities that are inside of you man mm. so it's it's working overtime so then you're supposed to be working overtime in terms of being charitable amongst brother, uh, the, bre the brotherhood. Yeah, you should be really jumping on opportunities to be charitable. <laughs> you know, it's like you gotta see like you know like a job opportunity. Yeah, I'm gonna get some money. Yeah, you, know? yeah. you gotta see it like that because hey, you know what? There is a reward for it, man. Oh yeah. Okay, you do that out of the sincerity of your heart, and the Lord sees that, and it says, and above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. And we're in this sinful flesh. You know, we're going off. Okay, if our righteousness is as filthy rags. So, hey, it, the scripture says it plain, man. It covers the multitude of sins, okay? You, you know, part and part and parcel of this truth is being charitable, man. You know, charitable brothers, man. Okay, and, and charity can come in many forms. Not just in a in a physical, material form, but also in spiritual forms, man. Mm -hmm. You know, through through exhortation, through teachings, through, through um, mercy. Mm -hmm. Loads of different forms of charity, man. You know? Yeah, that's right, man. You know, it's not it's not just about like, you know, how deep your pockets are. Alright, this ain't this ain't the thing about how, how much money you got. Mm. You know? Uh there's like the brother said, there's many different ways of being charitable. You know, like you might have a, a situation where you might have, I don't know, a work vehicle, a company vehicle or something. You know, you you know, brother ain't got no food, you might go take him some food. Mm. He hasn't got any uh, uh, money to go on, or the means to travel to go and get some food. Mm. You go and pick him up, you go and bring him some Bro, the Lord sees all of these things. And the thing is, you know what? It, it takes faith to believe that the Lord sees these things. All right? Because really, a man that has no faith, he ain't really going to be doing the things that the Lord said to do, which this is an important walk of life for us. This is what it means to be an Israelite. All right? Not just, bro, you know, Israelites out there that are in the world. I mean, I'm talking about worldly, wicked-ass jakes. They ain't thinking like this. And this is the reason why our nation is so fucked up. You look, you look at the other nations... Bro, look at Elam. They got like fucking 10 guys in one household. Mm. They're all saving up together. And before you know it, they're driving the biggest whips and they got businesses everywhere because they stick together as a tight unit. Our people don't do that. Yeah. All right. And this is this is something new that we're learning. Coming into this truth out of Babylon, out of the midst of these fucking de decrepit ass demons mm. that were forcing you to, you know, scheme on your brother, you know, lie on each other, steal from each other and do all kinds of wicked. That's the ways of the heathen, man. Mm. We're supposed to be different. We're... Uh, uh, royal people you know part of this truth is look the lord at one point has made us no people okay and if you're no people like the brother's going into that means you've got no structure you've got no foundation you've got no 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 body mm -hmm. you know but that's why you've got the body in your house shy <coughs> like that, man. Kind, okay? leaders. Israel, that's the tabernacles of david that's israel being brought up back in its in its in its, in its right stead man you know, through the elect and that, and that we're starting to really understand in this truth what it is to actually be part of an actually thriving, working nation. Yeah. A brotherhood, a family, you know? Yeah, because this ain't no joke. This is actually a business. Yeah. Like, our family is a business, man. I mean, you talk about our spiritual fathers, the apostles and the elders, and their elders uh, before them and all that. But they, those are our spiritual fathers, man. Okay. And they, they've really taught us how to really be men. Yeah. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And that's very charitable. It, very charitable. And now we're sitting down and what are we doing? We're, look, man, we're... We're, we're the only handful of men left of our nation mm. that are literally standing up, making a stand against wickedness, mm. tyranny, and all of that. From you know, headed by the so-called white man, pushed out there that vibration over the whole globe, and we're actually feeding the flock. We're actually doing the works of the Lord. Mm. We're getting, you know, uh, uh, we're getting down for our crown, so to speak, man. Okay. You know, but in sincerity, and that's why, and you know, we show it amongst ourselves. In fact, I got a precept comes to mind. Can I just read this? Yeah, go on, go point. On. It says, I've got a bit more in this, yeah? It says, use hospitality one to another without grudging. You just said sincerity, right? Yeah, 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 right? that's right. Now, I'll give you an example, okay? Um, there was one situation, I don't have to go into too much, so much details, but where when I first, first come in the truth, I offered a brother some food, okay? But I didn't offer it knowing that I was going to offer that food. Mm -hmm. I looked at it as, as if it was my food, kind. right? Now, that wasn't being sincere, and I learned from that. So then when you offer something, okay, when you give something up, you've got to give it in that sincerity. Look, I'm, you, know, you know, real charity, man, you know? And that's a lesson that I personally had to learn. So now, now we're being charitable by bringing it up. Kind. You know? It says, as every man have received the... Sorry, you had a precept? Um, so we, I wanted to go back to the... 
No, finish what you got, Can't. bro. I'm going to bring this out Can't. after. Have you still got the, uh, the bread? Uh, yeah, yeah. Can't. It says, as every man have received the gift, even so minister the same one to another as good stewards of the manifold grace of Yahweh Hashem Yashai. Okay? So whatever you, you receive, you know, it, you got to minister onto uh, one to another, man. Okay, now one example I want to read in, in the scriptures is the Lord said he's going to give us our daily bread and the brother will read it mm -hmm. and I'll go into it. Right, this is Matthew chapter 6, you know, the Lord's Prayer, man, mm -hmm. and 9. And after this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, mm -hmm. thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Okay, and one thing about that is now you've got the physical bread, okay, you know what you eat. You know the, the you know your so-called basket in a sense, okay. But you also got the, the the spiritual bread, which is this word, man, okay, that keeps you sustained. Now, there's two ways you can be charitable with that. With the spiritual bread, it says freely you have received, freely give. Yeah. Okay. So you're 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 spreading out, you're putting it on the waters, and you're and and you and you're being charitable with that. Now another thing is the physical bread, man. Now the Lord, I've been I've been meditating on this. Now the Lord can actually do it where the Lord gives you an abundance. Where your cup is running over, okay. For example, you might be in a in a certain you know so-called good job, and you might be earning a certain amount of money, that is more than enough for yourself to sustain yourself and whatever your household. Now, what do you do with the excess? Do you go and build empires, or do you look at the needy? Do you look at the the weak? Okay. Right. Do you look at the brothers that might need that? You right, know? right. Because it's, yeah, because that helps to build them up. Exactly, and that's what's part of building up a nation. And mm -hmm. I, I thought about this, and I was reasoning with brothers on it. Okay, like when you eat, right? Okay, if I give you a piece of bread now, you're only going to eat as much as sufficient to fill right. you up. Can't. After that, if you got an excess in your hand, well, that's going to go to waste, mm -hmm. unless you what you share it. Can't, can't. You know, and that, that's part of hey, the Lord did that bread and fish, man. He gave just the right amount. He, he multiplied that. You know, so everything we do, both spiritually and materialistically, okay, is for the for the body, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's part of that's part of being an Israelite and a man of the Lord, man. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that's Yo, right. I got yeah, I got a couple of precepts here, man. Okay. This is a uh, John chapter thirteen okay. verse. Yeah, bro. Uh, yeah, and it says uh, at verse thirty four, <clears throat> it says a new a new a new commandment I give unto you that ye love one another. As I have loved you, mm. that ye also love one another, right? By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, Oof. if you have love one to another. Okay, so this is what you got to understand. So how, how, uh, you know, and, and this is a personal testimony that I can give. There's one time when me and a, you know a bunch of brothers we went to a kebab shop, right? Right. And we were, you know, we were sitting in the spot, you know. And a, a random guy just came up to us and said, um, hey man, are you guys brothers? You know? And um, we were like, well, why'd you ask that? You mm -hmm. know? And then his response was immediately, his response was, I don't know, it's just something the way that you, you know, you treat each other. And that was kind of like when we kind of first came in the truth. Mm -hmm. And we were showing that then, but hey man, it's not just enough just to show it back then, you know? Because hey, um, Captain Ramar told, told us in London uh, years back, this thing is about consistency. Mm. You know, the Lord is looking at, looking for sincerity and consistency. All right, it's not enough just to say to a brother, "Oh man, I I, I done this for you." You know, you remember all the stuff that I done for you in the past, ah? Uh, mm. In you know all of it, you know, then you holding grudges on a brother because he, you know, he no longer has the means to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So what you got to understand is this thing is about consistency, man. We playing keep ups with this, you know. You don't let that ball hit the ground, man. No. Until the chariots come, until we're on the chariot, we got, you know. You stay on the ball. You stay on the ball, man. Yeah. You know, keep keep giving brothers lifts. You know, keep uh, offering a, a, a brother a drink, or a cup of water. You know, helping him out, checking on brothers, phoning up brothers, making sure brothers are cool, man. Because sometimes brothers are down in the spirit. Sometimes you're up in the spirits, and now what are you gonna do with that when that cup runneth over? Mm. You gotta use that, and you gotta pour that onto the brother, man. All right, oh, and now his living waters are gonna start flowing, man. Oh, bro, man, you kind of boosted me up in the spirit, man. The water, because remember, we all got different gifts. Some have exhortation, some have the gift of prophecy, some have teachings. 
Yeah. You know? But what are you going to do with them talents? What are you going to do with them gifts, mm-hmm. man? Mm-hmm. And that's how we function as a body, man, you know? I've got a precept for you. Come on, bro. You got it, man. This is uh, Luke chapter 22, verse 31. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon. And Simon, by the way, was the head apostle. Okay? Behold, that's Peter. He said, Behold, Satan have desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. Mm-hmm. Okay? And Satan is going about as a roaring lion, having, trying to get all the brothers, man. Okay? okay? So you go through certain experiences, you catch your hell. Okay, we just share two experiences, you know. And um, sometimes brothers will what, do exhortation through the, through, the, through the hell that they're catching. You know, the experiences that they're going through. And it says, But I have prayed for thee, that thy faith fail not. Mm-hmm. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. Damn. Yeah, how should I say that directly to the head apostle, Peter, man? He said, look, I pray for you. Now, when you're converted, when you... Come back up into your strength and your faith is whole. Mm-hmm. What are you gonna do with that? You're gonna go and sh- you're gonna go and strengthen your brethren. Hey, you know you know it can salak you, bro. Mm. Can I just add to that? Mm. Remember the, uh, the the one we always quote three hundred the movie. Okay. You know he was let me, you know, he was telling the FELTs. Let me tell you how our phalanx works. Oh yeah yeah yeah. You know? okay, okay. And he was saying you know each man protects the man you know t- to his side mm. thigh to neck yeah, yeah, yeah. thigh to, to neck. neck then he told him to lift his shield yeah. and he couldn't lift his shield yeah so that was that meant what he couldn't be a part of that body mm. because if you can't lift your shield to quench the fiery darts of the wicked the yeah, devil that right thing. that's ephesians 6 Ephesians six. Yeah. you know yeah. then basically you you know your brother next to you he's gonna catch an arrow man all right and that's how we're supposed to be functioning as a as a, a, a multifunctional organism, so to speak, all right, which provides one look man, just to, to just to feed the flock, you know. Our purpose is to worship Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and literally teach this word, man, all right. And that's how we tend to the flock. And by teaching, by following what's written in this book, mm. you're gonna do the things that are written in this book, which is gonna show your love to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right. For this is the love of the Most High, that we keep His commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. That's the whole duty of man. To fear the Lord and to keep his word, man. I've got a quick precept. Go on, bro. It's Romans chapter 15, verse 1. We then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak. Woo! And not to please ourselves. Let every one of us please his neighbor for his good to edification. Wow, bro. Oh, beautiful. Come on, bro. It says... Please his neighbor? Yeah. For his good to edification. Yeah. And that's another thing, man. The word edify means to build. Yeah. You know? We're supposed, bro, we're supposed to be building each other up. You yeah. know? I mean, especially now, man. You know, in these last days. Mm. We've got what? Uh, uh, Pesach is literally what? How mm. many days away? What is it there? You know what? Seven days away, man. Mm. You know? So what you got to understand is, man, hey, Satan is he's, he's going to be even more on brother's ass, man. Right now in this time. Mm. And that's why we gotta constantly, you know, you gotta be praying, you gotta be fasting if need be, you know, because Satan's like a roaring lion, man, and he's gonna use every fucking weakness that you've got to exploit. Because when a lion hunts or a lioness is out there hunting, they always go for the. You always see them on a documentary. The lion is on the trail mm. of the weakest gazelle, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. the one that's at the back. Or it's got an open wound and it can't run properly. Yeah. And then what ends up happening to that? No, man. Hey, we ain't never supposed to leave a man behind. Like they show you in them war films, man. We never leave a man behind. That's why the scriptures say, you know, what you just quote it, be sober, be vigilant. Can't. You know, because, hey, part of me, you know, when you out here, you know, this is the filth, the mm. filth of this place. You, you know, you can, if, you don't, if you're not being sober, you're not being vigilant, vigilant you can get caught out there. Mm-hmm. So then, like the brother was saying earlier, you got to keep your eyes on the, on the prize, man. You know, pretty much don't let that ball drop. Yeah, because this world teaches you, you know what? Just fucking, just leave him. Do you know what I mean? This world, bro. We've been we've been brought up to be fucking murderers, thieves, sodomites. You know, just a bunch of demons, man, running around doing what the do whatever feels good. Right. That's do as thou wilt. That, that's that Cain spirit. That independent spirit. Can't, can't. And what, and what did Cain say when he slew Abel? He said, "Am I my brother's keeper?" Yeah. That's that spirit of Cain. Yeah. That's why the Lord says, "What ye are of your father the devil, and the loss of your father you will do." Mm. Now, if you if you ain't coming in the spirit of Cain. You know, the lust of your father, the devil, and you're coming in the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, that is being your brother's keeper. Mm. That's the complete opposite. Oh, uh, what's, 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 where is it? Uh, um, this, oh, uh, all these things hang the law? Uh, I'll get it. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep reading this. Okay. It says, For even Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, right, please not himself, 
But as it is written, the reproaches of them that reproach thee fell on me. For whatsoever things were written aforetime, were written for our learning, mm -hmm. that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. And it says, now Yahweh bashmi our shai, now the, the God of, it says, now Yahweh bashmi our shai, so it says, now the God of patience, Salakia, and consolation grant you to be like-minded one toward another mm. according to Yahweh Shai Mashiach. According right. to Yahweh Shai. Yeah. You know, that flock. Okay, the same way that Yahweh, it says Yahweh Shai, please not himself, man. Mm. So what was he doing? He was he was constantly thinking about how to build up the nation. It was the salvation of the nation. Yeah. Because what would have happened if Yahweh Shai was like, fuck G. Right. And he was like, I ain't going on there for these niggas. That's that, that's that nigger shit, man. You know, that's that worldly spirit, that selfish, do as thou wilt type spirit, man. Mm -hmm. Yahweh Shai, he took the biggest L. Mm -hmm. He sacrificed himself, man. Mm. You know? And it fulfilled prophecy. It ultimately was to fulfill prophecy, but hey, man, the man died on the cross. Yeah. For he died for your sins, man. Yeah. But you can't, what? You can't make a brother a, a cup of tea? Mm -hmm. You can't, you know what I mean? Yeah. You can't call up a brother and check in at how he's doing, man. Mm -hmm. You know? This is what I'm saying, man. The world teaches you to be a fucking nigger, man. But when you come in this truth, you got to put that old man away. The inward man is supposed to be being renewed day by day, man. Yeah. You know? Paul said it, man. The first scripture we brought out, he says, what? Though I have the gift of prophecy and all knowledge and wisdom and all of that yeah. and faith, though I have not charity, I am nothing. Yeah. So for all you guys out there thinking you're high and mighty, doing backflips over the 12 tribes sign, but then you ain't being charitable, then you've, you've lost. Yeah. You have failed. You have failed your job as an Israelite man, a leader. You are not a leader. and You're, you're a serf, man. And you're of the house of Saul. Yeah. Yeah, that was a very important thing in Yahweh Shai, man, in his ministry when he was about. What, did he, do, what did he do for his disciples? He cleaned their feet, man. That's right. You know? He cleaned their feet. That shows not only a high level of humility, but also it shows the, the charity that comes with that, man. How much he cared for the flock, how much he cared for his brethren. Khan. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got that preset by the way. Khan, Khan, might as well. Yeah, this is Matthew chapter 22, right? And 20. It's like it. And 37. Yahweh shall said unto him, Thou shalt love thy Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it Thou shalt love thy neighbor. As thyself, yeah. on these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Yeah, Lord, the Lord gave us a law, man. Okay, you've got 613 laws. Okay, and the premise of it pretty much is that you worship your Yahweh Shai at the same time as you would want to be treated. Right. Accordingly, that's how you would treat your brethren. And how you would know? you want to be treated? According to all the words that are written in this book. That's, right. that's how you'd want your brother to treat you. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, the law, hey, the laws are righteous. Mm, mm. You know, the book is righteous. Mm. The volume of the book speaks life. This is a, this is the well of water springing up into everlasting life. The scripture says, "How shall a young man cleanse it's his way? way by taking heed thereunto according to thy word?" Yeah. yeah. So this word is life. This word is what cleanses you, man. Yeah. But if you want to do things on you, if you not do it the Alistair Crowley type of spirit, that decrepit cockroach that you are then you ain't going to take a heed according to that word. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be treating your brother like shit. You know, e excluding what's written in the word, man. And that's not the way Yahweh Shai told us to do things. Mm. You know, bro, I've got a real quick precept. Mm -hmm. Real quick, man. This is, um, oh, where is it, man? Uh, did I get rid of it? What is it? Yep. Okay. Right, and it says, Matthew chapter 25 and, and, yeah, I'm going to start from 34. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come ye, blessed of my father, and inherit the kingdom, prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Right? From the foundation of the world, man. You know, so the elect were always going to inherit. Look, man, they were always going to be up there. They were chosen from the foundation of the world. Yeah. You know? The, the tabernacle of David. It says, For I was unhungered. And you gave me meat. Ooh. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you took me in. Oh man, keep going. Naked and you clothed me. Right. I was sick and you visited me. Right. I was in prison and you came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, 
When saw we thee and hungered or fed thee? Or thirsty and gave thee drink? When saw we thee a stranger and took thee in or naked and clothed thee? Hey, can I just say this as well? What you doing is work, okay? Our people out there naked, man, okay? You're clothing them, man. You're clothing them with this word, man, with these vestures, man. Yep. You know, you're putting on that, that giving them wed that wedding garment, you know? Through your no. shy, man. That's right. Go on, man. Or when saw we thee naked, uh, Salaki, or when saw we thee sick or in prison and came unto thee, and the king shall answer and say unto them, right, them on his right side, right. Verily I say unto you, inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren, mm. ye have done it unto me. What a mentality. That mentality in itself. That, right. that shows the mentality of a king, because the king is a servant to his people. Right. You know, ultimately, you want to you wanna make sure that your people are, are all good, man. That's an office. Selfless. Complete, because it's not about. Look, it's this is about a unit, mm. you know. The, the, the strength is in that. Ba yeah, exactly. When, when you protected this brother, you really protected me, mm. because this brother is a part of my nation. Oh, what does it say? Uh, is it in Proverbs when men when men catch innocent blood, they don't realize that pretty much they wait for their own blood. Oh, yeah, kind. Is, is it in Proverbs one? Uh, I'll look for it, I'll look for it. Kind, kind. I'll look for it. Yeah, because when you do it, look, because the thing is, what Yahweh Shai is basically saying, man, is when you do when you do an act like that unto, unto your brother, man, in this faith, you've got to understand that the spirit of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shai, is dealing with that man. And you don't know who's who, okay? Because we all, you know, coming back in our lots, right, in these, in, the, in these last days, we don't know who's who in the spirit, man, mm. all right? Because you could be, you know... Be having given uh, given a, a brother the look of Saul from across the room, mm. having bloodshot eyes, looking at looking at a brother, trying to throw fucking bottles at him. But that could be Jeremiah. Yeah. Or it could be Jose. You don't know. You don't know who that man is. Yeah. You fucking nigga. This nigga. You know. You 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 got that bloodlust rage, and you can't see past that demon, because you couldn't even be bothered to go on a a a, 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 a twenty four hour fast. Not eat no food. You, 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 you couldn't mortify your members for, for one day. So then you just decided to take it upon yourself to start throwing bottles at a brother. You know? You didn't pray. You didn't, you know, you weren't uh, circumspect enough to see that Satan was riding your ass. Mm, mm. Alright? Then you got caught out there, man. The Lord says what? If you do it unto one of these little ones, it might, look, you do it unto me. So the Lord takes his personal. When you're dealing with the flock, you better take, you better take care how you deal with the flock, man. Yeah. Because remember, the scripture says, if you offend one of these little ones, it will better for him that a millstone were tied around his neck and him thrown into the sea, man. So this ain't no joke. You know, I've got a quick, I've got a quick one. This is, um, ooh. Yep, this is first, first John chapter 5, verse mm, 16. If any man see his brother, in fact, that's not the one. Sounds good though. Can't, can't. <laughs> now to come back to that one. Can't, can't. Uh, hey, you know what? Can I just say there's a law where if you see, even if you see, when you see a man that's on the side and he's got his cart there mm -hmm. and it's in the, he's, these animals in the ditch, what you got to help, you got to help it out, right? Yeah. And I was just thinking about, when me and this brother was driving around, we live in London, okay? And everyone's in the spirit of just like, me, me. Yep. You know, that greedy spirit. Everyone's in that spirit. Me first. Right, that selfish spirit. Okay, everyone's just, you know, they just want to get, there's, there's laws here to guide, you know, zebra crossings and things like that. But people just want to just keep going. They don't want to care about no one. Okay, and that's just, that's just the spirit of what this place teaches you. Mm -hmm. You know? Hey, but if you know what, if you, I'll say this. If you go into like, um, you know, the east eastern side of the world, okay, you go into like little villages and stuff. Mm. Those people are actually tire units, man. Neighborhood that looks out for themselves. Can't. You know? But they ultimately the ultimate unit is in Yahweh Shai, man. That's right. And when we're changed, okay, it's gonna be even it's gonna be perfected. That's right. You know, but right now we're rehearsing the righteous acts. You know, and part of rehearsing the righteous acts is doing the things that the Lord basically asks you to do, man. Mm-hmm. Serve what, one another. What the Lord represents, what we've been going through. Mm hmm You know? If you want to know something about the character of Yahweh of Yahweh Shai, that's one of his characteristic traits, okay? As, 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 that's our Lord, as high as he sits on the right-hand throne of the Most High. But yet, when he came as a man, 
he still did, he still did those things, those accounts of what he did, man. His works, man. He was still brotherly, man. Uh-huh. You know, and he did the ultimate thing, man. What does the scripture say about no greater man can, no greater thing can a uh, man to, to man lay down his life for his for his brother? His, yeah, uh-huh. you know, uh-huh. no greater gift, man. This is a uh, I found it, bro. This is First mm. John four and twenty. If a man say I love the Most High and hate if his brother, he is a liar. For he, <laughs> for he that loveth not his brother whom he has seen, mm. how can he love the Most High who he has not seen? Yeah, oh, for that's heavy. <laughs> oh, shit. So you know you go around saying, "Look, I love," you know. But the thing is, if you if you ain't charitable and you don't love your brother, man, then how can you say you love the Most High? Your brother sitting, my brother sitting right here next to me, man. Mm-hmm. Now, if I say I don't love this brother, then how can I say, "Yeah, but I love the Most High," but I don't like this, I don't like this guy, but I like the Most High, bro. You, you, bro, you're contradicting yourself. Because what did the Most High say? He said. I know that you love me if you keep my commandments. And a part of the, the commandments, well, the second greatest commandment is like unto the first. Mm. Love thy neighbor as thyself. So if you ain't doing that, then you can't love, love the Most High because you're breaking that commandment. You know, that's a contradiction in itself. That's why this word is pure. It's foolproof. You can't, there is no escaping this. It's airtight. You know, mm. if you say you love, you don't love, uh, you know, you love your brother that you, you, you don't love your brother that you see. In the flesh, but in how can you love the heavenly Father that you don't see, man? You know, and that's pretty much it on that. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, man. So you know, look, man. At the end of the day, like you know, you got Passat coming up in what seven days, man. So now is the time, more than ever, to just basically keep, you know, keep get your mind right, man. You know, and we're in it. We're in the last days, man. Don't you even understand that? Look, even the slightest uh, ought with a brother that you don't squash before Pesach. If you eat unworthily, that's it. Your ass is grass. Mm. All right, and that's why there's constant like an influx of people falling out before Pesach and after Pesach. And the apostles always talk about that, man. Why? Because certain men are eating unworthily. The, the Lord does a house cleaning, spring cleaning. Mm. You know, and the time of spring represents new life. Yeah, can you I? know, uh, a look, the Lord can get rid of a whole camp and spring up a whole new. The Lord said He can raise up stones. Oh, yeah. Can I say this on that as well? Come. Hey, man. Hey, like we were going into, man. Hey, Satan's trying to sift brothers, man. Mm-hmm. Especially around this time, man. So you know, if you're sitting there and you've been having demons fermenting your mind, you know, you gotta, you gotta come out and you gotta, you gotta just bring it all out, man. Okay. Because especially around this time, mm-hmm. you don't want to be eating that Passover unworthily, man. I got. Um, just a quick precept. Okay. This is James chapter 1, verse, verse 21. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your souls. Mm. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Mm-hmm. You're not be doing these things. You're just a hearer. Then you're not doing the actions. You're not going through them hard trials. You're not, you know taking them hard steps because it's hard, we're in the flesh, then you ain't doing the right things. You're just a hearer of the word and not a doer. Okay. It says, For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself, so a man's looking at himself in a mirror, and go of his way, and straight away forgetteth what manner of man he was. You know? That, you got, you got to know, you got to know what it is, man. You got to know what it is and hold fast to it. And that's this word, man. It says, but whoso, but whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. And hey, the Lord's got his angels watching everything, man. Okay, putting you through these different trials and these different tribulations. But you've got to, hey, you've got to come with humility and meekness. And you've got to really, hey, the, the sacrifices of the Most High is a contrite spirit, man. Mm-hmm. Okay. So whatever it takes to be contrite, you gotta make sure that it's right, man. And we've been talking about the we've been talking about the brotherhood and the flock. You gotta make sure that things are right. Bro, I was literally that used the spirit. I was literally just thinking about taking care of the affairs of the flock, man. Okay. You know how does the shepherd take care of his sheep? Mm-hmm. He's constantly what? Do you know? Can I, I got a precept. Oh, sure. I want to just I want to read this real quick. This is Matthew eighteen and eleven. Mm-hmm. 
For the Son of Man is come to save that which was lost. Right? Yeah, you're right. How think ye, if a man have a hundred sheep, and one of them be gone astray, right. doth, doth he not leave ninety and nine, the ninety and nine, and goeth into the mountains, and seeketh that which is gone astray? Right? And it goes into what we were talking about earlier. You see a brother that's dwindling in faith. You know? He's out there. He's struggling. Them, them fiery darts of the wicked, they're getting to him, man. Mm -hmm. You know? At this moment in time, he's weak. So, bro, hey, man, you, you got a particular ounce of faith that you can shed to a brother. Hey, pray for that brother. Mm -hmm. Ring him up. Call, check up on him. Do a video with that brother. That is another form of being charity, man. You've seen one sheep go astray. Shit, man. You know, his brother's, you know, I hope he's all right and that. Bro, don't be waiting for your brother to fall. And when he starts tumbling down the hill, you there cheering and fist pumping. Mm -hmm. That ain't the spirit of Yahweh Shai. That's the spirit of a nigger, man. When you waiting for a brother to fall, yeah, I knew that nigger was going to fall. Bro, you can't be doing shit like that. You, bro, what happened to about all things done onto the edification? That ain't building a brother up. That's destroying a brother. And you're rejoicing in his downfall, man. Well, I've got precept. You know? Let me just finish come, this come, real, real come. quick. And it says, and if, so, and if so be that he find it, Verily I say unto you, he rejoiceth more of that sheep than of the ninety and nine which went not astray. Right? Mm. Even so, it is not the will of your Father which is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. Right? Because remember, the scripture said that the angels rejoice mm -hmm. when one sinner turneth to repentance, man. Yeah. Yeah. Even the angels rejoice. Yeah. So that one sheep that, you know, that you've got, because you're, you know, you're a true shepherd, right? Mm -hmm. Looking after the affairs of the flock. That's sincerity. Yeah. When you see a man that's actually turned from... You see the man going down the wrong road. Right. Right? Right. That's your brother. Come. You're like, hey, when you, when you see him come back and go on the right ro road, that makes you happy. Mm -hmm. You know? That makes you happy, man. That's like, that's like that prodigal son. Hey, bro, and not only that, bro, you got an extra, you got an extra brother to do a video with now. Mm -hmm. You know? You got an extra brother to lean on, to rely on, to hold a shield up for you in a time of war. Right. You know? That's how you got to be thinking, man. And you're in, and that's that building mentality. Khan. And, and you know what? You you were in Matthew 18, right? What does it say? You know, when you got all with the brother, what does it say? It says, it, at the it's, end it says, it's coming. Oh, it's coming. All right, cool. Yeah. And it says verse 15. I've got a See, that's there. the spirit. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass thee, pass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. But if he will not hear thee, then, then take with thee two one or two more, that in the mouth or two or three witnesses, every word may be established. And if you shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. But if you neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as an heathen man and a publican. Okay? But if he hears you, that you gain the brother, man. You gain the brother. That's you right. know? I've got a precept for you. Come on, bro. You got it, man. Uh, you got any more precepts? Yeah, I've got, yeah, right, I've got cool. a couple more. Uh, this is uh, James chapter 5, verse 16. It says, Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another. Mm -hmm. That you may be, that's very important, you know, because we, we, we're going to go off. We're in the flesh, okay? It says, That you may be healed. The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Mm. Okay? So even if you, hey, sometimes you get situations where, you know, you might see something and you pray for that brother, you know? You pray for that brother and that brother will be praying. And, and you know what? The spirit will have it work out, man. The spirit will have it work out if, it, if it's in righteousness and sincerity, man. And if it's it, his will. And if it's, his, if it's the Lord's will. If it's, in, if it's in Yahweh Shai, man. You know? Can't. Oh, no. Yeah, this is uh, John 13 and 13. Then this is the word of Yahweh Shai. It says, Ye call me Master and Lord, and you say, Well, for so I am. Right. If I then, your Lord and Master, have washed your feet, you also, you also ought to wash one another's feet. Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So this, this is what I'm saying, man. It says, For I have given you an example that ye should do as I have done unto you. Yeah. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord, neither he that is greater than he that sent him. And if ye know these things, happy are ye if ye do them. Yeah. Right? So the, the Lord is straight cut. Look, man, there's cuts for days talking about serving each other, man. Mm. You know? Receiving the word with meekness. Do you know the meekness? Bro, the Lord could call down 12 legions of angels. The Lord, hey, everything, everything bows to Yahweh Shai. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying, bro? He has the dominion, bro. 
right? But at the same time, that same individual is there washing the feet of the disciples, man. Mm. So the serpent isn't greater than the master. He gave that as an example that we should, that we ought to serve one another in meekness mm. and sincerity, man. Mm. He said, "What did he say?" He said, um, "I've given you an example." So the yeah. Lord straight up said, "Look, there's many examples." But the Lord said straight up there in red, he said, look, I've given you an example. When he did that action, that was an example reverberating through eternity, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And that, that yeah, action. yeah. You know? That's right. That's right. Uh, as soon as I read that one. Yeah, this is Galatians uh, 5 and 13. For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Right? Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, mm -hmm. but by love serve one another. Mm. Right? So we're, we're free in Yahweh Shai, man. You know? The truth shall make you free. We, we, look, man, we, we're free from the clutches of Satan. We're, this is it, man. We're, we're in the, 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 the body. of We're in the spirit, man. All right? And, and, and with that, what are you supposed to do with that? You're supposed to serve one another, man. You know, like the brother was saying earlier, what are you going to do with these gifts? What are you going to do with that faith that you have, man? Mm. Are you going to serve each other? Okay. It says, um... Oh, you read that one. That's the spirit. This is James chapter 2 and 15. If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food... Right. Oh, and it, <laughs> yeah, come on, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if one of you say unto them, depart in peace... Be ye warmed and filled. Notwithstanding, ye give them not those things which are needful to the body. What doth it profit? Yeah, that's, well, that's deceiving. That's not really, that's, that is deceiving. That is straight up deceiving. That's not actually giving them what they require, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you just send them on their way and they're, they're hungry. And that, the Lord ain't down with that. Keep, keep going on. Even so, if it have not works, is dead being alone. Okay. Read that bit again. Right, I'm going to start from 16 again. Mm. And one of you say, I'm going to read it from the top. Yeah. If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food. And we just read the daily, we were reading about the daily bread. Mm -hmm. Okay, go on. And, one, and this is all going into taking, uh, uh, taking care of the, effect, uh, the affairs of the flock. Mm. This is all tying into looking after and serving one another. It's all tying into that same topic, man. Mm hmm you know, and if you do that to your brother, it's basically you're doing it unto the Lord. But only the elect are going to have faith that they are doing that unto the Lord, man. And that the Lord is going to see that and he's going to reward you for that, man. Yeah. Because he sees everything. And you know what? Sometimes you get, like, if you look at sheep, right? You look mm. at the flock. Sometimes you're walking around or whatever. Yep. You know, some of them, you know, one doing his own thing or whatever, blah, blah. But most times when it's cold and it's at night, okay, and the shepherd, you know, when, when, when the wolves are out, what do you notice, man? The sheep are all together. Huddled together, man, like penguins. Kind. You know, because they're keeping each other warm, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and 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 one thing about uh, Ada's faith is, you know, uh, we all we got, man. That's yeah, that's right, bro. We all we, we all we right. got, man. That's right. You know, obviously we all got our things to do. You know, we we you know, we all got our lives and whatever. We're all men or whatever. But at the same time, it's like we all we got. We only family we got, man. Yeah, because who know? you gonna who you gonna rely on, man? What Floyd Mayweather, mm. Conor McGregor. We, we, you know, you, you, what? Well, look, man, there's, there's guys out there that have got family members that are just living in shit situations that have millions, man. Mm. You know, so that's the way of a nigger, and they don't care about building up each other, man. They just want to stunt on each other. Mm. You yeah. know, it's all about the money, cars, the clothes, and the hoes. That's what the world teaches you, man. Be a selfish, go, you know, be a goal getter. Do this for yourself. You know, just do it. You know. <laughs> I won't finish this off, man. Go, go. And it says, uh, "Destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled. Notwithstanding, ye give him not those things which are needful to the body. What doth it profit? Even so, faith, if it have not works, is dead being alone. So if you ain't got the faith, you ain't even gonna do this. What the, what the Bible says. If you ain't got the faith, you ain't gonna do what the Bible says, man." Why does the scripture says in Hebrews 4 and 2, but the word being preached unto them, not being mixed with faith, did not profit them that heard it, man. Okay, and faith is a gift. And only the elect are going to act upon that faith. They're going to have the works 
to prove that they have that faith, man. And a part of the works is what? Keeping the, uh, 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 the, the laws to the best of our ability, which one of, well, one of the main ones, the second greatest, which is like unto the first, is to love thy neighbor as thyself, which goes into looking after the affairs of the flock, man. I got sorry. Go on, bro. This is Ephesians chapter 4, verse 15. But speaking, I shall start from uh, 14, that we henceforth be no more children. I'm going to have to start from 13. Till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Yahweh Shai, mm. that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of, by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive. And we've come out of that. We've come into this word. Come right? On. It says, But speaking the, the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Yahweh Shai. So this is about growing in Yahweh Shai. And it's going to go on to explain that. It says, from, from whom the whole body, it says, fitly joined together mm. and compacted by that which every joint supplieth. Yo, fitly joined together right. and compacted. Right. You know? In fact, I'm going to go into... What, what's, what's, where did you get that? This is uh, Ephesians, Ephesians 4 and 16. Right, let me get that. I'm look at that word. I'll keep reading, yeah? All right. By that which every joint supplieth, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part. We all parts of this part of the Lord's body. Maketh increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. <laughs> so, hey man, that's, showing, that's part of showing love, man, to the body. Go on. Man. Bro, this is, I got the word compacted, right? Right. Fitly joined together and compacted. Right. Right, and the word.